Hi viewers, this is Sajad Hussain and you are watching my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's video in which we are going to discuss a few more literary terms. So let's start. So the first term that we are going to discuss today is symbolism. Now it is a very popular term that is frequently used in different books of literature. What is symbolism? It is a literary technique or literary device that is used to show an implied meaning or implicit meaning or hidden meaning of a text. Now how is it done? This implied meaning is suggested either through objects or colors or characters or incidents or situations. Let's discuss a few examples of symbols. Heart symbolizes love. Black color symbolizes death or mourning or lamentation or some sadness. Similarly, green color symbolizes jealousy. And there are so many examples. Now, some symbols are traditional, while some others are the creation of a writer's fertile imagination, or we can say that these vary from writer to writer. Traditionally, loin symbolizes bravery and courage. Another example of traditional symbol is fire, which signifies destruction and devastation. Traditionally, a bird symbolizes freedom. But if you have read that story, The Happy Prince by Oscar Wilde, the little bird symbolizes philanthropy. It symbolizes love for humanity. It symbolizes love for mankind. This is what indicates that symbols vary from a writer to writer. Some symbols are traditionally employed while others are the creation of a writer's imagination. So there is host of symbols that is employed in different literary genres. Let's move on to another literary term that is also very popular and uh, it has close connection with symbolism. It is allegory. Allegory is either a short story or a poem or a novel in which there is excessive use of symbolism. If you have read The Old Man and the Sea by Hemingway, we find out that this novel is full of symbolic meaning. Hemingway wants to convey a message of life and that message is that man is not made for defeat. He can be destroyed but not defeated. While conveying this message, he has made use of Santiago as a symbol of mankind. He has made use of that skiff as this world, the ocean, the flowing waters of the sea symbolize the passage of time or flow of time. Likewise, the fish that he longs for and he aspires for symbolizes or stands for or signifies all the wishes and all the desires that human beings look for and possibly try to attain those. So this is what makes this novel an allegory. Finally, let's discuss two twin terms that are closely related and these also fall under the ambit of symbolism. One of these is simile and the other is metaphor. In simile and metaphor, there is a slight difference. In simile and metaphor, there is a comparison of two dissimilar things. For instance, he is brave like a loin or he is a loin. One of these examples is a simile and the second one is a metaphor. Now, what is the difference between a simile and a metaphor? 
in simile and metaphor there is a comparison of two unlike things but the difference is that in simile there is use of either like or as but in metaphor we do not use like or as for comparison so when you say he is brave like a loin or he is as brave as a loin or he is brave as a loin all these are the examples of simile but when you say he is a loin there is no use of as or like so it is a metaphor i hope this difference is clear to you viewers hopefully this video might have helped you in comprehending these literary terms if you have any confusion you can just type it in the comment section and i'll try to respond to it till next video stay tuned allah hafiz